Now the previous video, which I will put a link up here at the top, I showed you how to take an ordinary battery pack out of a cordless drill, remove all of the batteries inside and replace them with newer batteries, which can be cost effective if you buy good batteries. Now in that video, I pointed out that the batteries I had, these Garbriels, however you say them, they were not very good batteries. They're rated 5,000 milliamp hours and there simply isn't a battery capable in this size of 5,000 milliamp hours. I believe the maximum battery size we can get the capacity is 3800 and Panasonic makes those batteries so this is not it this is actually a Chinese knockoff and we talked about it not being a very good battery but we did go ahead and put a set into this particular battery pack it actually worked okay it did not have the original capacity that this particular battery pack did new when it had its original batteries in it now we determined the original batteries that was in this pack was actually Samsung batteries and Samsung makes pretty good batteries now in the previous video we did determine that size did not matter however weight sure did the heavier the battery in general they actually have more capacity now we took the Gabriel battery and we weighed it and it came in at 1.2 ounces now the actual Samsung battery that was in that cordless drill is a really good battery and if we weigh it you're going to see it's 1.5 ounces. Now this battery actually came from a certified Tesla repair facility out in California and I sourced them online and they were able to send me a handful of these batteries so we could play around with them. And I'm going to weigh one and you'll see that this comes in just a little bit heavier than the Samsung battery. And I know these are really good batteries. So what I want to do today is to put these batteries in this battery pack to have a Tesla battery powered cordless drill. Now I've cut these open because I wanted you to see what the direct relationship to the weight of these batteries and the capacity really is. Now this is the Garbriel battery, it's a Chinese knockoff and you can see there's a rather large hole in the center. Now a lot of people refer to this wrap as the jelly roll and that's because if you were to pull it out, which this one's stuck in there, but if you could get it out, it would unwrap kind of like a jelly roll. And then these layers is a, it's like a black gooey substance like a jelly so they call it the jelly roll and you can see there's a rather large hole in the center of this battery so there's a lot of wasted space now if we take a look at another one here this is the samsung battery and these are really good batteries these are the batteries that was in that cordless drill from the manufacturer if you look at it it's got a rather dense jelly roll so to speak and there's a little hole in the center but a lot smaller than the chinese knockoff that's why this battery weighs a little more than this battery. Now, if we take a look at the Tesla battery and we look at its hole, holy cow, there really isn't a hole. Actually, there's a very, very small hole that a toothpick would not even fit inside. It is that small. If you try to squeeze this particular jelly roll, it does not even squeeze. It's that dense and that tight. And that's why this battery weighs a lot more, but it has a much higher capacity. Now something I want to point out is if you take the Model S Tesla battery and you put it next to an 18650 battery, you're going to notice they're the same size, same diameter, and that's because it is nothing more than an 18650 battery. The difference is they're really good and they have a really high capacity. And there's hundreds of these wrapped in bricks, or actually in a plastic casing in bricks that go into that car that power the car. So it's not just one of these that powers the car, that would be silly. It's hundreds of these next to each other in brick style packets that power the car. Now I happen to have just enough to build a battery pack, so I'm gonna put these in one of these battery packs. I'm not gonna bore you with how to do that. I did that before in another video. So if you wanna get bored, look up here in the top and, and I'll point you to the video where I did show you how to put these batteries in a battery pack. But what I am gonna do is put these in there today and we're gonna test the drill and see if it has a really good capacity. Now the batteries as expected fell right in place and if I pull the trigger, I have no problem operating this drill. <laughs> that may be the very first Tesla powered drill. Who knows? I'll put the bottom on it and we'll drill through some heavy steel and see how it does. Now I have a confession to make and that is I actually drilled starts of multiple holes until I found out that my, my bit was a little dull. I drilled another test hole on the backside and 
parts of another hole here and quite honestly it drills really good with a lot of power and I expect it to last a very long time because these batteries are pretty much the best. <laughs> Something not worth mentioning is I forgot to charge the batteries before I performed that test. Something worth mentioning don't go opening these batteries yourself. When I did try to open these, they did all kinds of crazy things. They stunk, they smelled, they crackled, they popped, they sparked. It's just not a safe thing to do. And I have no idea what's leaking out of the Chinesium battery because if you look, it's got a bunch of goo going on in the corner. So don't do what I did. I did this so you don't have to. If you like these types of videos and you like to build stuff, take a look at some of my other videos and you might find something you yourself might want to build.